Hello, Rebecca here. Empire Lark finally started up again, and I thought it might be fun to document the process of returning to the field, um, or at least packing all of the things, and then how my basic in character tent comes together. So I did. We start with a car, in this case, one empty Honda Civic, back seats down. It's important to utilise all the space you can, so the sneaky extra storage space gets some rag rugs, a giant zebra blanket, and some shoes. And then the car looks empty again for a moment before we add the tarp. Tarp is your friend. Tarp gives you that most valuable of things, hope. Hope that the car will not come back covered in mud. Then there's a couple of blankets to even things out. A large garden lamp hook, as you do. Uh, some bamboo canes I'm going to end up not using this time around. Wooden staves, and on this occasion an arming jack and suede jacket that can survive being on the bottom of the pile. Then we cover all that over with a duvet. Handy hint, duvets are squishy, and often one of the last things that you need to take out of the car. So if you put them in first, they'll survive being squashed by heavier things, and they won't end up sat getting rained on while you put the tent up. Next I'll just add this casually flat-packed picnic bench. A couple of fold-out futons are my personal camping mattress of choice. The big box of mostly soft kit slides in at the back, and a stray tunic finds a temporary spot by the futon. The nice wicker basket of assorted icy bits and pieces sits on top of the kit box, and then we add the tent, the tent carpet, and the bench legs, followed by the padded box of assorted useful out-of-character things, first aid kit, sun cream, makeup stuff and whatnot. Oh, and that tunic gets squished between the box and the carpet. Then it's the big bag of cloaks, and assorted sheepskins get tucked on top of the carpet, the last big bit is a sturdy chest of leather gubbins. I do some leather work, and I usually bring along some bits and pieces for infield repairs. The box also does a fine job as a small makeshift bench. Then it's time to squeeze in all the odds and ends. Peg bags, do not forget your pegs. Do not forget your mallet. Put it with the pegs. Also, the little boxes of lights, spare boots get tucked into the footwells, that one bit of icy tat you forgot to put in one of the other boxes just gets tucked in a corner. And then, after a last minute whip round the house, in hope of spotting whatever it is you've forgotten, it's time to say goodbye to the cat for the weekend, grab a drink and a snack for the journey, and off to the field we go! We had lovely weather on arrival, so we opted for the pile everything on the ground and get the car out of the way approach. I found my spot, having checked with the camp planner. Now, I've got a 4 meter bell with the zipped in ground sheet, so it's just roll it up, peg it out, add the pole and door frame, peg the guys, and ta-da! Tent! Okay, now we're on to tent dressing. A half moon coconut fibre carpet makes an excellent first layer of insulation against the cold of the ground, although it is pretty prickly. Rag rugs make the front half a little bit nicer. Then it's the token waterproof layer, the futon, the zebra blanket, and the duvet for a fairly comfy double bed. Kit box and cushion box go on the left with the sheepskin, basket and a stray box on the right for now. Throw around some more sheep. Then everything in the kit box comes out. The tent bag and the other OC bags go in, and then a blanket and shearling sheepskin turn it into a handy table. The right hand side gets piled up with all the icy clothing for now, tunics by the bed, cloaks by the door, lanterns and icy bags can hang out on the left until needed, and that's it. It may look like a scruffy pile of rags and blankets, but it'll keep me comfy and look well enough for the weekend. I completely forgot to get a picture of the bench in situ, but I'm thinking it could be fun to do one of these showcasing other people's tent dressing, so maybe I'll get one then. If you made it to the end, thank you very much for watching. See you next time! Empire Lark finally started up again. Woo! And I thought it might be fun to... <laughs> to woo!